Oh, you too. Yeah, I meandered. I meandered. I, I moved down to Schlafly. So, hey, I'm trying their farmhouse IPA, 7 2, 40 IBUs, Honor. Oh, yeah. Oh wow! Um, the aroma is uh, it's a cross between a uh, excuse me, I mean, it's a cross between a uh, well a traditional farmhouse or a saison and an IPA. It's, it's floral and hoppy. There are some spicy notes going on. There's certainly some citrus. If you're expecting an IPA, uh, it may not be your thing because it really doesn't really uh, have that, you know, that, that that grab at the end like most IPAs do. But it is hoppy and crystal firm. Yeah. But the finish is nice. You really feel kind of that Belgian, the Belgian yeast. It's a little peppery combined with the hops. It just, it's, a, it's a nice beer. It's not going to run long. I'm just going to want to relax and have a cup of beer. It's halfway. Uh, I walked from over just as you get here, so I'm a little... <laughs> we're an old fat guy. But anyways, hey, I'm going to let this warm. If I pick up anything else, I'll let you know. Well, how do you do, y'all? I am back. Uh, I've got what they've got called a hop trial, 07270, 6.5%, 45 IBUs. I asked him if it was meant to be uh, an IPA or an AP. He says, none of the above. It's a single malt, single hop beer. Uh, this is a hop that doesn't even have a name. It's 07270. But the aroma is very interesting, honestly. It's very fruity, right? You got the aroma of that beer, you get some pepper. Yeah, a little bit. I just start talking to the guy sitting next to me here because I talked to everybody. <laughs> He's eating some muscles, so, so I'm really having... Uh, uh, no, no, I'm good. No, no, I'm good. Uh, oh, just small. But, but I'm having to get my nose right up to the beer because um, those muscles smell very good, so... I'm having to really yeah, smell the beer. Be my taste <laughs> as far as getting the flavor of the beer, it's... You said they use a, a base malt just so they, the, the hops really shine on it. Single malt, single hop beer. It's, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a whole lot of peppery notes from this thing. You're correct, sir. Yeah? Yep. At least that's what the big boys tell me. Well, you've been here a long time, so I think you know what you're talking about. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of peppery notes. Yeah, there's a certain peppery spices to it. I find I'm getting white pepper specifically. So many people just, I think, overuse those big citrusy, piney hops. I mean, they, you know, they're great, but it's like every time you turn around, you go to these beer festivals, and it was like the hot du jour. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a little bit of that tastes good. Let's just put more into well, it. Well, at the moment, everything has to be either citra or mosaic. Yeah. It, yeah. It, you got this, you got this tropical fruit salad IPA, and, and they all taste the same. And there's nothing wrong with those at all, but when everybody's doing it, and everybody's trying to outdo the other guy on how much, it's like, come on, guys. We I find that. We all got into beer because of the response to lack of variety. That's right. And yeah, the like, go out, these the guys are like, I'm doing anything I want. But it's in there, I, I, I think I'm going to have to order a full pour because now I'm intrigued by this. He, I asked about it, he just gave me a sample, so now I'm going to order a full pour. Wow. 